Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about a British vocalist by the name of Mary Wilson. Now, a lot of you may not be familiar with her here in America, uh, and perhaps some of you will be very familiar with one song that she released in 1983 called just what I always wanted. But now, I like to start these videos out by telling you how I got into the artist. Now, I sort of knew about her uh, at least a year or two before I heard her music because I had heard that she was working with a guy named Todd Taylor, uh, who used to be in a band called Advertising. And um, then I had heard that she was working with Tony Mansfield, who was a producer, songwriter, uh, and he was uh, the main guy in a band called New Music, and he had produced Captain Sensible and stuff. So so my expectations for hearing her uh, were pretty high, but I didn't hear anything until the import single of Just What I Always Wanted came out, and I fell in love with it. It's just a great the thing about Mary Wilson is she takes the charm uh, and and the excitement of 60s music, and they sort of transplanted it into the 80s, uh, especially on her first album called Show People that came out in 1983. Now, these weren't the first releases by Mary Wilson, but it was the first album, uh, and I think it was listed under Mary Wilson and the Wilsations. Uh, this was a great collection of songs. Uh, just these songs seemed that they would have been perfect for Dusty Springfield and for Dionne Warwick and Petula Clark and all these great female vocalists of the 60s, except it had a very 80s production. Uh, and of course, Mary, of course, had the beehive hairdo, uh, much like the gals in B-52s, although I liked Mary's a little bit better. So when I got that album, Show People, her first album from 83, I was blown away. Now, I don't have that actual album on CD. It's a very expensive Japanese CD, and my budget will only allow a certain amount of uh, CDs in my collection. Uh, but here, there is a collection called the Platinum Collection, which has the same cover. And believe it or not, this CD has every song that's on the album version of show people and more so you actually get all of show people there in in different order uh but you also get a couple earlier tracks which i'll go over in a few minutes and you get some later tracks which i'll go over as well so if you're in the market and you can't afford show people uh on cd japanese i highly recommend you get this uh it is digitally remastered collection of songs uh by mary wilson great collection uh show people like i said came out in 83 but she had actually been recording songs since about 1980 i think so todd taylor was sort of writing all of her songs i think he was going under a different name like teddy johns or something like that uh but everything was just so perfectly formed it just sounded like authentic 60s music it was great there was motown in there there was girl group in there and it was just really really wonderful stuff now, a lot of those early recordings uh, can be found on the Beat the Beat collection. This actually came out in 1992. It's a little hard to get, but this contains a lot of those earlier recordings as well as some later B-sides and A-sides and stuff. But the, a lot of great stuff on here like uh, Dance Card, uh, Beat the Beat, uh, Stop and Start, Ecstasy, Baby It's True. There's a wonderful version here. Uh, and you cannot find this on the internet. Uh, I'm happy just to dance with you, the Beatles song. And she does this ballad version, just her voice, which is wonderful. Uh, if you haven't heard her voice, you really need to get it. As an artist, she's just so charming and her voice is so full of life and passion. Uh, and it's just just great stuff. So I'm happy just to dance with you. has a great voice and flamenco guitar. And it is really, really wonderful. It's you know, I don't like Beatle cover versions um, all that much, but when somebody does something that different uh, and still makes it sound great, then, uh, you know, I'm going to pay attention. The Beat the Beat collection is definitely something worthy. This is not really uh, that much into the synth recordings with Tony Mansfield. This is pretty much all Tot Taylor uh, production. Definitely check that out. Uh, this collection came out the same time and it's called just what i always wanted this pretty much has all of the show people album on it plus some bonus tracks as well and this is pretty much all the tony mansfield stuff so uh Todd taylor still continued to write for her but tony mansfield uh took it in a more electronic synth pop direction still sounds great and wonderful just what i always wanted is there as you could tell 
Now, if you're going to want to start collecting Mary Wilson, you're pretty much going to have to get all three of these in order to get most of the uh, early material. I noticed that there are a couple B-sides that are not on these collections, which is kind of frustrating. But hopefully somebody somewhere down the line will do proper reissues of those. So these recordings basically span the years 80 to 84, 80 to 85. She did not actually put out a new album until The Rhythm Romance that came out in 1991. Still looking fabulous and still sounding wonderful. This album is more of salsa, bossa nova influence, and not as much of that 60s pop. Uh, but there's still plenty of great stuff. And like I said, her voice is, is fantastic. Uh, the Rhythm is great. I'm Coming Home uh, for Your Freedom. Uh, there's another Beatles cover on this. Um, it's called And I Love Him, which take the little soft little bossa nova. And uh, at the end of the song, it sort of dragged out a little bit. So she's adding more Beatles titles into the uh, song at the end. And it's really, really fantastic. If you stopped following her in 85, that's your fault. I blame you because she continued to make great albums. So that is The Rhythm Romance came out in 1991. Took another 14 years, but out comes Dolled Up. Still looking fantastic. And this album mixes the 60s pop along with uh, touches of like early 70s soul and some disco. Uh, there's some soft pop jazz ballads. Uh, but if you like Mary Wilson's other stuff, you're definitely going to like this. Just don't expect that just pure 60s. Uh, but lots of great stuff on here. Um, the Love Thing, uh, Love at Last, amazing. A great version of I Saw the Light, the uh, Todd Rundgren song. Uh, there's a great pop song here called Storyline that could have been a hit single uh, around the same time as the Show People album. It's just so it's just wonderful, glorious pop. And she does an amazing version of How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, the Bee Gees track. Now, I love the Bee Gees version. Nothing will ever come close to it. But this is probably my second favorite version. It's essentially piano slow down even more and more of a ballad it's got a lot of atmosphere uh and it really sounds good so that's dolled up that came out in 2005 mary wilson if you were missing the classic 1983 84 mary wilson you know just what i always wanted that 60s pop then this album is one for you this is called emotional glamour came out in 2008 it's very much the same kind of pop from her classic uh, uh, early 80s period, but it's updated to 2008. And it's just chock full of fantastic songs. Uh, Have You Got What It Takes, The It Girl, oh gosh, The Loneliest Road, Killing Time. Lots of great songs on here. Um, Hits and Misses, Only Human. This is one you definitely need to check out if you love the stuff like Just What I Always Wanted and Beware Boyfriend and stuff. This is like that, but just updated, fantastic. In 2012, she put out an album called cover stories and these are very intimate relaxed cover versions a little bit of jazz maybe a little bit of boss nova in there but it's more it's very intimate her voice and and the instrumentation sounds very warm if you just turn down the lights uh and um relax with a glass of root beer uh it'll just sound wonderful it'll sound like she's snuggling up next to you and the songs she covers here are very interesting, like Don't Get Me Wrong by The Pretenders, Disney Girls, which is a Beach Boys song, of course, Be My Baby, uh, Don't Let the Sun Catch a Crying is a great version, I Only Want to Be With You, lots of great songs. Oh, uh, she does They Don't Know, that um, Christy McCall song that Tracy Ullman had a big hit with in America, and Everybody Needs a Holiday, and that was Cover Stories, came out in 2012. Now, some of this you can buy direct from the Mary Wilson store online, and I'll put a link to that in the description uh, on the item card. And finally, in 2016, she put out an album called Pop Deluxe, another great collection of uh, tracks, covers, uh, but very modern sounding. Uh, it's not techno or anything like that, but it is a very modern sound to it. She still looks and sounds great, and it's just a wonderful collection of songs she actually does always something there to remind me uh the look of love don't sleep in the subway 24 hours from tulsa very unique version of that uh anyone who had a heart i close my eyes and count to 10 just don't know what to do to myself absolutely fantastic now in 2017 she did put out a cd single to a song called moon and back which is wonderful but again, my pockets aren't deep, so I'll have to get that eventually. But I wanted to tell you about all of this and hopefully inspire you 
to go back and give Mary a listen or a re-listen and just buy as much as you can because she's really still to say I mean 40 years since she put out her first single and she still sounds fantastic she's still out there performing uh, maybe not now during the pandemic she'll probably start performing when I can actually get my hair cut uh, but Anyway, that is it. Please check out Mary Wilson. Uh, check out the title card, and I will put the address to her website. I really appreciate you hanging out and allowing me to talk about uh, Mary Wilson a little bit. And please, if you want to keep my video channel alive, please hit like, comment, share, and hit subscribe uh, to be notified of future videos because I make them when I can. But until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.